Hey, welcome back to Stock Talk with Eric Anthony. Happy Friday and happy Battery Day for all my ALPP fans out there. Hope a lot of you guys are looking forward to the three-day weekend. The stock market is closed on Monday. So what I'll be doing over the weekend is uh, I'm going to create a playlist on this channel. It'll be called like Eric's Deep Dives. A goal for the deep dives will just to be to provide you guys a little more insight on the companies, like what's their missions, business model, review their financials, and ultimately what do they have in store for 2022 and beyond. I watched a lot of Toy Story. Um, like always, I just wanted to review some of the market behavior that I noticed today. I want to bring to your guys' attention some cool updates regarding batteries with ALPP. I wanted to discuss some of the FUD that we've been hearing and Okay, so looking at the genomic sector, everything was pretty much down today as well, except for PacBio. I wonder if that was just an anti cathy buy-in over with ARC. Moving over to Mount Fang, everything also down today. Netflix was up, but kind of like with the genomic sector, there's a lot of red with some sprinkling of green. Some of our favorites, ABML was down today, about just under around 2% at the time of this recording. And ALPP was down just under three and a half percent. All right, checking out some of our favorites in the crypto space. Cardano is down about 2%. Bitcoin's down 1.4. Ethereum down 3.53. And Polygon 3.81%. So again, just another red day. All right, kind of getting back to just some of what I saw out there regarding some news and some of my favorite stocks. Um, the first thing I guess that everyone keeps talking about is war with Russia. Um, according to White House Press Secretary Saki, the U.S. believes Russia is positioned for an attack on Ukraine. Another cool thing that I saw today was one of the lead anchors over at CNBC actually reposted Alpine 4's tweet today regarding Battery Day. And as you can see here in these pictures, check this out. Um, I had touched on this a few days ago regarding the new battery from Electra, but look at this. When they said that their solid state of battery was bulletproof, well look. They did the bullet test. With two rounds fired through the cell, it was still functioning and did not combust. Again, one of the selling points, and mind you, these are things, these batteries are ready to go, that they're non-combustible even if they're penetrated with the bullet. As you see here, in celebration of National Battery Day, the uh, Value Aerospace Corporation snapped a couple quick picks of Electjet's made A4M1 battery pack. They're just kind of showing it getting installed for the newest generation G1 which is uh, one of ALPP's drones. So always very exciting to see just updates with some of our favorite companies. Over the weekend, I will be digging deeper and I hope to see here the, when the financials should be coming out soon. So look out for that. Once I get the financials and we kind of get an update of the Q4, then we can kind of really see where ALPP is headed. Um, one of the, um, the negative things that ALPP gets as being a holding company is that with each acquisition that they, in a weird way, purchase revenue, right? So as every company that they buy, whatever that company's revenue is, is now they absorb it. So now they can show on paper that that's their revenue. And so personally, as a fan of the company and the, the steps that they've taken to try to continue to get companies that will work synergistically, especially in the battery and drone space. Um, I'm very excited to just see as time goes on how these acquired companies um, provide revenue moving forward, all being underneath the ALPP for holding umbrella rather than getting numbers from the year before or like getting numbers prior and including them in the financials for the upcoming year. So again, I don't know how others feel about that let me know in the comments below if you feel that some of these holding companies get bad raps for acquiring their revenue rather than earning the revenue but it's just something i like to think about okay as you can see here palantir is down today about six 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 and a half percent at the time of this recording as well as nndm nndm was down about two and a half percent fun fact regarding palantir was that kathy wood had dumped 56 million in palantir after the dismal earnings so we'll keep that in mind i will try to get an idea of exactly how many shares they have now i will get back to you with that news soon all right jumping over to the fintech space the firm was down about one percent sofi down almost seven percent paypal down 1.6 and Robinhood was down 
1%. Again, today is just a very, very stagnant day across the board. I think with the talks with um, Russia and Ukraine, I know I've been saying it, but I think we're just gonna keep hearing about this over and over and over again. So once we get a resolution to that, I think it's gonna be choppy waters in the market for the time being. So as you guys have you know something on the sidelines and you guys are trying to pick, I don't know if there's ever gonna be a better day than the day before, because right now it just seems like everything is moving downward. So again, my approach, not financial advice, is just to kind of always nibble. And today I did some buying, if you guys are interested in hearing what stocks that I buy, I'll let you guys guess. Please let me know in the comments below and I'll for sure kind of go over that. I just would like to kind of keep the YouTube page as an opportunity for you to just hear about some of these um, news things regarding these companies rather than putting the focus on me as a trader because I think there are many, um, many great traders out there and many great YouTubers out there that can do that, but I don't think that that will be something I will be partaking in here with this page. Okay, so one of the bigger things that jumped out to me today in the news besides all the red and um, just a little bit of buying that I did was that, I don't know if any of you guys are huge Tesla fans. I'm assuming some of you guys are. I know I am. Um, and if you're a Tesla fan, then you're probably an Elon Musk fan. And if you're an Elon Musk fan, then you probably know that he has other companies such as Neuralink, The Boring Company, and the one I wanna talk about right now, SpaceX. If you guys didn't know, SpaceX is about to do a 10 to one stock split. And this was according to an email to employees obtained by CNBC. Shares were most recently valued at $560 before the split. Shout out to Rebel Cal Kyle, because I found this information out that you can buy it indirectly if you buy the Barron Partners Fund, BPTRX, the fund, holds 5.2% of their assets in SpaceX. So every $100 that you own, you will theoretically own $5.20 in SpaceX stock. And the majority of the fund, kind of getting back to our Tesla thing, is that 50% is held in Tesla as well. And as you can see here in this image, this kind of just shows the top 10 holdings in this fund. They have Tesla, CoStar Group, IDEX, FactSet, Charles Schwab, Vail Resorts, Hyatt Hotels, Art Capital, Gartner, and if you could see at the very bottom, Space Exploration Technologies Corp, AKA SpaceX. And that um, allocation for this fund is 5.2%. This is pretty cool to find out because um, I'm a huge fan. I'm not gonna uh, deny that, I'm a huge fanboy. And to try to get our hands on some SpaceX before it goes public, I think that's really cool. So I'm gonna do a little bit deeper dive on how we can buy into this fund. If you guys are interested in this a little bit more, let me know and I will try to make a video on what steps I took to get into the fund and how I was able to purchase if I was able to, to purchase. All right, that kind of wraps it up today. Today was actually a really short day. I didn't foresee the Friday being that exciting. Um, earnings seasons will still happen. Tomorrow, we'll make a video regarding what earnings we want to look out for. The main ones that are going to be popping up will be the, in the retail space. And next week, we'll just have big, big retailers. Walmart just reported such name as like Home Depot and others. So yeah, um, I, I will report on that. I'm going to do some, you know, like I was telling you earlier, that I'll be digging deeper into some of the, my favorite companies and trying to make little videos so you guys have something to reference to a little more in depth rather than me just touching on it as I have been throughout the day. More importantly, with everything that's going on out there, like I always try to remind you guys, the stock is not the business. As you can see, some of these stocks were trading much higher just two days ago. If you don't think anything has changed fundamentally with the business, then you know what? I'm right there with you. Um, there's gonna be days, there's gonna be weeks, there's gonna be months like these, but ultimately I think the approach that I'm gonna to continue to take is just to keep dollar cost averaging into my favorite plays and keep trying to educate myself just so that I can not only increase some of my existing positions, but um, I'm starting to think about new companies that I want to start opening um, some plays with. So I'll let you guys know about what spaces I will be looking into. So yeah, kind of look out for that, but you know, again, ultimately, I hope all you guys have a fantastic Friday, great three-day weekend. Stay safe out there. And like always, I'll see you manana.